And so far this year, numerous records have been broken for global temperatures. That's according to NASA, the U.S. Space Agency. This year is on track to be the warmest yet on record. CCTV Sean Caleb's here in the studio with a look at the findings. Pretty amazing stuff. Pretty amazing, too. Think back on Paris when China and the United States, two nations that were leading the push to pump the brakes on global warming. Well, the news that came from NASA scientists today, not good. First, we want to talk to you about the uh, global surface temperatures, the significance there. Look at this graphic that NASA released uh, earlier today. Uh, you can see the very top of the uh, area, all this very red. It should be, there we go, you look much more red. And the Arctic is actually warming nine times faster than the rest of the world. This little finger of a warm air here, though, very significant. That's the remaining effects uh, from El Nino. And the NASA scientists today on what they called an emergency news conference to talk about the significance of this said that uh, El Nino is responsible for about 40 percent of the warm temperatures, unseasonably warm temperatures, uh, from January to June. Now, just how bad are they? Take a look at this graphic. We go back all the way to the pre-industrial age, and you can see you know, where the temperature was. And then it began to spike, and right now it's about one and a half degree ab ab Celsius above where it was back in 1880, so in 135 plus years, a significant uh, change. This is important because during uh, the Paris meeting, all the nations agreed to try to keep the global surface temperatures from rising about two degrees Celsius. So already, within a matter of months, they're very close to that. And it's having the greatest impact on sea ice. And that is important because it is going to have a global effect. You can see uh, right here the average of uh, uh, sea ice in the Arctic, it has just plunged. And already five out of the six months this year, record levels of melting, and that is not good news. This is uh, important. We spent about three months up in the Arctic uh, last year working on a, a climate study and talked to the people who live and work in that area about the significant effects of this. It's not just anecdotal information. The people living up there can tell you it is bad. Well, in the last couple of hours, I talked to so several of the people that we interviewed. I want to show you some of the pictures that they were able to send me from today. This is in uh, the photo coming up is in, is in Canada's Northwest Territories, and it shows you just how bad uh, this is. This is. This is supposed to be a beach, all kinds of erosion. These houses out here are where they smoke fish. And this, they've been there for generations, and they're in danger of being washed away. And yet this is a road. So you can see just how tremendous uh, so far this year the warming temperatures have been and how they have adversely um, affected the area. We have a couple more uh, pictures to show you that show just how much the sea ice has melted. This is a NASA image that shows basically from April until July all kinds of ice flows now. And the reason this is important, one more picture, there's basically a cyclone storm uh, that is going on in the Beaufort Sea in the Arctic right now, the counterclockwise spin. And when this, when this happened in the past, it wasn't necessarily bad news because there was so much ice build up here, it didn't allow the waves to come in and allow for erosion. Well, now it's going to happen, so you're probably going to see more uh, climate refugees coming up uh, because of this kind of weather. It's important, Mike. Uh, it's having a huge impact globally, one and a half degrees Celsius. If there is a hint of good news, they say that next year should be cooler. While that may not sound accurate, why is that happening? Well, because El Nino had such a devastating effect back in January, February, and March on the global conditions. They don't expect that to happen next year.